Referring back to your earlier comment about uh, escaping from or doing away with capitalism, I was wondering what scheme, workable scheme, you would put in its place. Me? Or uh, well, others. what I would, yeah. <laughs> what, well, what you would know, you I, suggest to others who might be in a position yeah. to set it up and get it going? Well, I mean, I, I think that uh, what used to be called centuries ago wage slavery is intolerable. I mean, I don't think people ought to be forced to rent themselves in order to survive. I think that the economic institutions ought to be run democratically by their participants, by the communities in which they exist, and so on. And uh, I think basically through various kinds of free association. Historically, have there been any uh, sustained examples on any substantial scale of uh, societies which approximated to the anarchist ideal? There are small societies, uh, small in number, that have, I think, done so quite well. And there are a few examples of large-scale uh, libertarian revolutions, which were largely anarchist in their structure. Uh, as to the first, small societies ex extending over a long period, I myself think the most dramatic example is uh, perhaps the Israeli kibbutzim, uh, which for a long period, may or may not be true today, really were constructed on anarchist principles, that is, of direct worker control, integration of agriculture, industry, service, personal life on an egalitarian basis with direct and in fact quite active participation in self-management and were, I should think, extraordinarily successful. A good example of a really large-scale anarchist revolution or largely anarchist revolution, in fact the best example to my knowledge is the Spanish Revolution in 1936 and in fact uh, you can't tell what would have happened. That anarchist revolution was simply destroyed by force, but during the period in which it was alive, I think it was an inspiring testimony to the ability of uh, poor working people to uh, organize, manage uh, their affairs extremely successfully without coercion and control. How far does the success of uh, libertarian socialism or anarchism as a way of life really depend on a fundamental change in the nature uh, of man, both in his motivation, his altruism, and also in his knowledge and sophistication? I think it not only depends on it, but in fact, the whole purpose of libertarian socialism is that it will contribute to it. Uh, it will contribute to a spiritual transformation, precisely that kind of great transformation in, uh, in the way humans conceive of themselves and their uh, ability to act to decide, to create, to produce, to inquire, precisely that spiritual transformation that uh, social thinkers from the left Marxist tradition, from Lex Luxembourg, say, on over through anarcho-syndicalists have always emphasized. So on the one hand, it requires that spiritual transformation. On the other hand, the, its purpose is to create institutions which will contribute to that transformation 